Today is all about artistry and the creation of art. And artists, as you can tell, because I'm wearing this scarf and a beret. Corny opening jokes aside, this is actually a topic I've been thinking a lot about lately. Why people feel the need to create. What's the importance of this art that we're making? And why do I create? So this is kind of just a vlog of all my musings and opinions and thoughts on the subject. Since people have existed, we've been fascinated with making things. Not just making shelters for our heads or fires to keep us warm and cook our meals or new inventions to make life easier, but things that have a purpose beyond their own practicality. And a lot of us wonder why. I've thought a lot about this as well, and the only conclusion I can justifiably draw is that people were created in the image of a creative being who placed us in a massive work of creation. If you just look around, you can see the artistry of this world, and I believe that in our own selves, the way that we were made and put together, it was always meant to be a quest of ours to be making. And I know a lot of you who are going to see this video don't hold the same belief at all, but thinking about it myself and believing in what I believe in, I just, I don't see how any other answer could be logical. I'm not trying to say that artists should only paint pictures of Jesus and only blatantly and obviously Christian artists are real artists. I'm saying the pull on everyone's heart we feel to make pieces of beauty comes from the fact that we were made by a God who made pieces of beauty. And that if good and true inspiring art is being made, there must be a reason for why we're making it higher than ourselves. Hey, loosen up. <sighs> We're going to talk about something a little lighter, and that's just why I enjoy making art. In this case, we're mostly going to talk about writing, because all of my other genres of artistic endeavors never really turned out to be my thing. I enjoy writing, personally, because it's something that goes along naturally with what I've been taught and what I care about. There's this whole f idea about what you should do with your life based on what you enjoy, what you can get paid for, and uh, what you know about. And writing falls smack dab in the center of all of those. Because I can publish my work, I can do something I enjoy, which is using language and story to communicate a message. And it's also something I know about, because my mother was reading to me before I was out of the womb. And I've grown up on language and stories. Whether it be on the porch with my grandpa, whether it be something I have picked up in the outside world, whether it be through school and history, that's just something that's always been a part of me in my life. It brings me very neatly and tidily into my last thought. So have you ever thought about the importance and influence of art? If you've ever taken an art appreciation class or just been to a museum and seen what's going on, you probably thought a lot about this, or maybe even just a little bit, maybe not at all, but it's, it's definitely a question that I think about a lot. So once again, we're gonna be using the example of writing just because that's what I know how to get across to you, but I believe this is pretty applicable for most other visual and performing art. Writing is a story-based art, like many other art forms, and that's where its meaning and influence lie. When we hear a story, we're educated, or entertained, or persuaded, and that's what writing is all about. And that inherently has influence. I have learned so much more just through the exploration of different stories about different people and things than I could ever learn by just sitting down and having these concepts put in front of me. 
I cannot even describe to you how important story is. Every day of our lives is a story. Everything we do is part of a story. And I think this kind of goes back to why art exists, because story is being created. So we want to tell stories. That's big. From a young age, we are told stories or read stories that convey morals. Dr. Seuss, all through there. I mean, the stories of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Cinderella, they all have an underlying moral. Basically, any story in which animals talk has some sort of deeper meaning. And in general, art conveys a story. And it's not always a moral that it's be that's being told, but it's something that's being told. Art is a way of communication and expressing ourselves. And that's why I think art has such influence, even though it's just something that seems impractical on the surface. It has a practicality deeper than just the superficial quality of the lamp sitting next to me. That lamp is practical because it creates light so I can see and you can see me in your videos. But art and writing and story can illuminate things on a much deeper level in your mind and in your I don't always make art, but when I do, I wear a beret and scarf. Stay artsy, my friends.